Hey YouTube, it's Cape Cod Cuda. Uh, this is a thrift stall haul. Uh, I went to a hospice thrift store and uh, picked up these items and I thought I'd share them with you. Um, I think I overpriced on this one. I didn't look it up. This is a haul. Um, H-U-L-L. -L. And uh, it's number 46 USA. And uh, what I paid for it? $25. Um, I've seen some selling from $15 up to $36, I think. Um, so I did, I, when I, I looked at it, and I was thinking that it was uh, way overpriced, and I meant to ask for a cheaper price on that, but when uh, I got up to the counter, I forgot all about it. So, overprayed for that. Uh, this is a McCoy. This is called the advertising mug that McCoy made. Uh, I paid 99 cents for it. It's the only marking it says is USA on the bottom. And uh, here's the advertisement that's on it. Uh, Westford Fire Department. It's from 1969. So I paid 99 cents for this. And my buddy's got a McCoy uh, book. And it says it's worth thirty dollars in the book, and uh, it's an old book. And some of the prices I notice are more now than that, that it is in that book. Um, this piece right here. Oh, it's not banging around. This piece right here. I believe this is a McCoy. I only paid a dollar sixty-nine for it. I have to look it up. I haven't looked it up yet, but it looks like a McCoy to me. These are McCoy. I already looked them up. The little candle holders. There's a pair of them. Paid 79 cents each for them. There's no markings on them, but I already looked them up. They're both in the McCoy, the McCoy book that he, ha my buddy has, and I already found them online. Um, this one right here also is a McCoy. It's an early, probably 1940s piece with no markings on it. I paid three dollars and ninety-nine cents for it. Um, this is like a, I forget what they call them now. It's like you put food in them, little chip dip kind of deal. Put chips or pretzels or candies in there. Maybe some cookies or finger sandwiches or something like that. And uh, sit it on your coffee table or something like that. This is marked Made in California. Uh, model number 116. I paid $4.99 for the one piece. Both halves. And uh, this one's got gold trim on it. This one right here has gold trim on it. And this one right here has gold trim on it. Next we have some more of this California USA. Um, this is a, a chip and dip set. It, it comes on a wooden rotary thing that you can uh, spin around the your chips and pretzels and stuff like that and the dip. I paid a dollar forty nine each for there's three of them so I paid a dollar forty nine for each one of them. There's supposed to be a bowl that sits in the middle that you put your dip in. Uh, they didn't have the bowl. This is how I seen the display and they were dollar forty nine each. I I just they stack on top of each other. So I stacked them up on top of each other went up on the counter and bought them. Um, I didn't even re realize there was supposed to be a, a bowl in the middle. 
a matching bowl. That you actually could get different color bowls for the center. So I looked it up. It, they have a little wooden spinning thing that Lazy Susie that it sits on. And it's got like a, a wooden bowl in the middle that rises up and you take a, another bowl and sit it inside the middle and the bowl is also ma marked California USA but on the bottom it will say the same model number as this it will say the L59 um, so when I looked this up and was seeing it I was seeing sets like this for twenty five dollars just these three pieces from like fourteen dollars to like twenty five dollars for these three pieces and um, then I seen other sets with the Lazy Susie in the bowl for like sixty dollars, uh, and those were actually going from like twenty five dollars to sixty dollars. I bought this bowl, which is also a part of a set, and this is a uh, the California USA, and this is a M seven hundred. I paid four ninety nine for that. This is supposed to be also a chipping dip set, so I'm thinking maybe I, will, I can sell it like this, and maybe sell it for like $25 that way, paid $1.49 for those, so that's what, $5.50, or $4.50, $4.50 plus the $5 for that, so call it 950 maybe I can sell this all together for 25 doesn't look bad this is kind of this is a leaf but it kind of looks flowery and kind of looks like these if you consider this a flower with green leaves around the around the edges it doesn't look bad so that's that's another item I got and then lastly is another I believe this one is a California USA also uh, it's shaped like a apple pie um, let's see, I lifted up this tape when I got home. I paid $5.99 for this. Now, I, this is a hospice um, thrift store. It's heavy. This is how they had it. They had it taped closed. And uh, let me flip it over. This one actually the marking just says 17010. I haven't looked this one up yet to price it. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a, it's a pie. Um, maybe you put cookies or something inside of there. Um, and put that on your countertop. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe you uh, have a pie and you stick the pie in there and then put it in your uh, refrigerator like that or in your so I'm not sure maybe it keeps the pie warm um, but $5.99 I paid for that kind of pricey but I thought it was kind of cool looking and uh, yeah I still can't believe I paid $25 for this um, I guess the Hull H-U-L-L it really doesn't sell for much money um, I think I'm going to try to stay with the Roseville and the, um, the McCoy stuff. Um, doesn't seem like Hulls get that much value to it. Uh, McCoy's really good, I, I feel. Uh, this California USA stuff doesn't sell for too much either. Um, but I'll probably still continue to buy some of this stuff. Um, I'm doing good with the pottery, so and I'm learning more about it. So that's why I've been buying a lot, and uh, I'm not paying, usually I'm not paying that much for them. I mean, these are 79 cents, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm seeing these sell for, I think I said 15 to $25 for those, for a set of these candle holders. So that's not that bad when you paid uh, $1.60 for them or something like that. And... Uh, <coughs> this is Cape Cod Cuda signing out. Just showing you kind of what I've been up to. And um, I'm just trying out eBay and selling some of these uh, antique pottery and some other antiques. I got some fishing reels and fishing uh, lures and stuff like that. And uh, antique fishing boxes that the reels came in. Pen and 
uh, some of the other brands, uh, Ocean City, um, and some, uh, like I said, antique lures and stuff like that. Uh, I got, I'm going to do another video on some uh, Boy Scout Derby cars that I bought uh, from 1970, 71, and 72, three years in a row, first place champion. And uh, just, you know, the history of these items, the history that you get on some of the stories at the flea markets and yard sales uh, is really, really cool. And um, the people that I'm dealing with on eBay that are buying these items are really cool. Uh, I sold a, a um, Sears and Roebuck 1977 and 83 uh, canister set and spices and a napkin holder and stuff like that. And uh, to a woman that's decorating her kitchen in a 1970 theme, she sent me pictures of her kitchen and she's doing it mostly in orange. And it's just really, really cool that you get um, that kind of feedback and story about what's going on with things that you're buying and selling and what people are doing with them and what people have done with them. So this is Cape Kaikuta, uh signing out. And uh, stay small, keep it all just a way I'm entertaining myself, making a couple of bucks, get to uh, meet people in the community, and, uh, you know, just kind of surviving. So, Cape Kaikuta signing out. Thanks for watching.